Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about differences of squares. So basically the difference of squares formula states that a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. Now let's first understand how come this is true, right? Because you shouldn't just take my word for it. Let's understand why this is the case. Well, let's use the FOIL method to expand um, to expand and simplify the left and see if we can get it to match the right. So if we start with a plus b times a minus b and we use the FOIL method, we're going to end up multiplying the first terms together. So a times a is a squared. Then we're going to do outer. So that's going to be minus a b. And then we're going to have uh, inner, which is going to be b times a. So plus a b. And then last is going to be b minus or times negative b, which is going to be negative b squared. Then the minus ab and plus ab cancel each other out, and we end up with a squared minus b squared. So the, the main point here is that every time we have a difference of squares, we're always going to end up with the same, you know, the same thing, where the inner and outer term cancel each other out. So all we really have to do in that case is uh, just first and last, since inner and outer cancel each other out whenever this is the case. So let's do a few more examples like this. If we have x minus 5 times x plus 5, we could do first, outer, inner, and last. But here we would end up with plus 5x for outer and minus 5x for inner. So those would cancel each other out. Therefore, there's no point even writing them. We could just write x squared minus 25. And that's our answer. Same with this next one here, right? We're going to end up with plus 21x minus 21x as our outer and inner terms respectively. So therefore, there's no point in even writing those. Let's just do uh, first and last. So first is going to be 9x squared. And last is going to be minus 49. And same with this last one here. 12x times 12x is 144x squared. And then 1 times negative 1 is negative 1, and the other terms plus 12x and minus 12x that we would have gotten from using the full FOIL method are just going to cancel each other out. Therefore, there's no point in writing them or considering them. All right, well, that's it for this one.